Here's a quick tutorial on how to set up the live stream here in the auditorium. A couple of things. First of all, you need to make sure that this cable is plugged into the side of the camera that goes down to the box. You also need to make sure that you turn the switch for the microphone to on and then turn it back off when the performance is done. Okay, make sure that gets turned on and then off at the end. Then moving to the box. Okay, you'll have to turn it on. That's the power button over here. Um, it kind of it will go to whatever happened last. You're going to need to, on the right hand side, there's this little dial. I know you can't see it, but there's some arrows and a button in the middle. Hit that middle button, get it to broadcast settings. Once you're on broadcast settings, hit that middle button again. It takes you to where you're going to set up the broadcast. Use the down arrow to set up. Hit, hit that little middle button on set up. It's currently on this event that's scrolling across. Okay, so we want to hit that event. And it, we want a new event. Actually, we want an existing, but we, we don't want the current event. I've got all the events programmed in already. So you hit this enter, the little middle button on existing. It'll take a second here to load. And you need to find uh, the event. Unfortunately, this box is, does not store these chronologically. So it's by name. And in, uh, you know, chronologically, is, it would be nice, but we don't have it. So um, the next event up is prom on May 4th. So if that's the one I want, I would hit that middle button on that event. And now it's saved. When it comes time to actually stream that event, I would need to hit this record button over here. Okay, record button right there. I have to hit that a couple of times. It's gonna say go live. I had to hit it a few times until I get this screen that says go live. If I want to go live, I'm going to hit this middle button. I'm not going to do that here because then we'd start broadcasting that. So I'm going to leave it on this one. Um, and that will be set for the next event. So that is how you would get the event set up.